So, uh, as we all know, the detection of malignant cells in the body fluids is very important for um, the correct clinical treatment and diagnosis and for staging of cancers. And uh, most of the time, the patient suddenly comes to us with only pleural or ascetic fluid. So, the cytology evaluation is very important, but as we are all aware, we require a very professional and expert cytopathologist to make a diagnosis. So, sometimes when you don't have a cytopathologist at site, they might be delaying um, sampling. So, this is where I thought that uh, uh, evaluation by the, uh, by the hematology analyzers can um, actually cut down this uh, gap between the cytology and the hematology. And uh, the screening by the hematology machines is a, a very rapid method and a good adjunct to the gold standard cytopathology. So most of these new um, five-part and seven-part analyzers have also the new detection mode that is the body fluid analyzer where they are using the flow cytometry enabled the high fluorescence body fluid mode which is useful to discriminate between the malignant cells and the uh, non-malignant cells. The scatter plot analysis of the instrument, actually it has three types, the forward scatter, side scatter, and the light fluorescent. So uh, the forward scatter usually works on the size of the cells. The side scatter, as you're aware, works on the nuclear details. And the light and the lateral um, uh, fluorescence uh, method helps to distinguish between these malignant and non-malignant cells. The most important part is the fluorescent intensity and the side scatter is higher for the tumor cells when compared to the mesothelial cells because the tumor cells have more nucleic acid when compared to the mesothelial and the WBCs. So probably this is the um, main point on which the, anal analysis, um, the analyzers are able to uh, separate the mesothelial and the tumor cells. Also these cells, tumor cells tend to aggregate more and they have high fluorescence and side scatter. So this is what I wanted to say, that um, the side scatter uh, is based on the uh, nuclear details, the forward scatter is based on the size, and the fluorescent, uh, lateral fluorescence, these are the three components which are being used. So this um, is a study which we just did in one month, that is June 2022 at Asian Institute of Gastroenterology's uh, main branch AIG hospitals at Hyderabad. The body fluids were received to the lab in uh, K2 EDTA tubes as well as in sterile containers. We strongly recommend our clinicians to send whatever fluid they have aspirated, whether it is 10 ml or 1 liter. So we get uh, ranges from 10 ml to almost 1 to 1.5 liter. An automated analysis and the slide presentation, uh, slide preparation were done within two hours uh, of receival of the lab. During this one month period, we have analyzed 147 serous fluids, which comprised of ascitic and pleural fluids on the Mindre BC 6200 uh, body fluid mode. And uh, all the samples were also microscopically screened uh, on the cytospin slides with HND, MGG, and PAP. And um, the malignant cells on cytospin uh, slides were um, defined as those which were greater or equal to category 3 uh, according to the IAC guidelines. So uh, this was a small study which we did only in the month of June uh, where I considered only 147 fluids and we had four um, uh, fluids which were positive on the analyzer. So I would just like to go into details of those four cases. The um, case one is a 75 year old female who had uh, presented with a sense of breathlessness and loss of weight and had a left massive pleural effusion. Around 400 ml of blood tinged uh, hazy pleural fluid was received for uh, analysis. Uh, so if you see in the um, analyzer, as we have already discussed, uh, we are going to analyze the total nucleated cells, the WBC cells and uh, the uh, high fluorescence body fluid, analysis, uh, body fluid component which showed around 62 cells and uh, in the manual uh, microscopy, um, few atypical cells interspersed with reactive mesothelial cell clusters was noted. Uh, cytology was moderately cellular and it was categorized as um, category 3 atypical cells. So if you see this uh, analyzer, here you have an area where there is a mixture of your uh, high fluorescent cells and the mononucleum polymorphonuclear cells. So when you mask all these cells, so th these are the 62 percentage of the cells which are falling in that bracket. So. Um, So this was a cytosmear which showed a very cellular smear and uh, we had a lot of uh, reactive and uh, uh, mesothelial cells and some atypical cells. 
So probably sometimes on our cytosmias, we, um, we are not very definitive to categorize it as malignant. So usually we take a cell block as a golden standard. And um, again, here a good uh, cell block evaluation and a good um, cytosmias will depend on uh, how much of fluid and how good we mix it and how good we process it, when, particularly when you receive more than 100 ml. So usually in our uh, institute, we make it as a standard to at least um, for every uh, 50 ml to try to make one cell block. So sometimes if you get one liter, we end up making as many as eight to 10 uh, cell blocks to improve the yield. So this was a fairly cellular cell block and you can see that um, there is a SNR pattern of arrangement and as we had already talked about the nuclear features, uh, you have high NC ratio, clumped chromatin. Uh, this will go in favor of a, a malignant uh, effusion. So this was positive for atypical cells and even the instrument had picked up these atypical cells. The second case is a 37-year-old male uh, who on triphasic CT was cirrhotic. There was splenomegaly, mild to moderate ascites, AFP was normal and we received only 30 ml of uh, yellowish hazy uh, ascetic fluid. So if you see here again, you have, um, this is your uh, area where you have the clustering of the cells but when, when you try to see, uh, we had almost as few as only three cells. So we had taken a cutoff of um, high fluorescent uh, cells of around 22. But here even with three cells, uh, we are able to find that they are atypical cells. On the manual microscopy, they were predominantly mesothelial cells. But on cytology, there were few atypical cells. But probably it was false positive on cytology because cell block proved that they were reactive mesothelial cells. So this is the cytospin showing the uh, reactive uh, mesothelial proliferation and uh, this the cell block which showed only mesothelial cells. Probably on cytospin, these were the cells which we thought initially as malignant. But the cell block and IHC proved it as benign. This is a third case of 42 year old male who had SOB, fever, multiple liver abscess. Uh, and CT also showed hepatic abscess with uh, right lung consolidation. His uh, CA 19.9 was around 15 and CA was normal. We received 10 ml of yellowish uh, hazy pleural fluid. So again here if you see the uh, high fluorescence um, uh, area showed around 29 cells. This is absolute count and the percentage was around 6.7%. So probably this is a false positive indication. So that means it's a mixture of the reactive mesothelial uh, cells here which are being uh, um, highlighted in this high fluorescent area uh, mimicking the malignant cells because in cytology and cell block there were no malignant cells. So this is the uh, cytospin smear showing only mesothelial cells and the cell block showing only reactive. So all the cells which show up in the high fluorescent areas need not be your malignant cells and I will explain that in the subsequent slides. And this is the last case, the fourth case, a 65 year old male who had cough, smoker and CT showed uh, lung mass with bilateral pleural effusion. We received pleural fluid. So here um, we had a total count of uh, 492 and a WBC body fluid analysis revealed 487 and in the high fluorescent areas it was very less around 5 cells but this was false um, negative because the cell block showed few atypical cells. So if you see these are the cytospin smears and here we had some atypical cells but uh, the machine did not pick up this in the high fluorescent area and the cell block proved that this was cancer. So we did IHC and uh, it showed strong positivity for TTF and, nas and uh, napsin A. EMA was diffuse positive. The calretinin was negative except for highlighting the mesothelial cells. And the proliferative index was around 20%. So it proves that it was a malignant effusion of lung primary. So uh, the basic discussion is the automated analyzers try to pick up the malignant cells but it also picks up the mesothelial cells, so both of them are shown in the high fluorescent area. Now, if you take only the forward scatter, it will go on the size of the cell. 
but cancer cells as you know can have varied size and varied morphology so uh, sometimes they are picked up in the high fluorescent areas but sometimes if the size are smaller you can miss them in that high floor high fluorescent areas also uh, the high fluorescent body fluid uh, cells were not included in the wbc counts and they are expressed as a ratio of the uh, wbcs or either as an absolute cell count and the total nucleated cell count is the sum of the number of wbcs and the high fluorescent body fluid cells the neutrophils and eosinophils are counted as polymorphonuclear cells and the lymphocytes and monocytes are counted as mononuclear cells and the mesothelial cells macrophages and malignant cells together come in the high fluorescent body fluid areas malignant cells show high forward and side scatter as well as lateral fluorescence um, and also in uh, they are present in the Uh, aggregates now mesothelial cells can also have large volumes larger than the wbc and it is uh, difficult to distinguish the mesothelian tumor only based on the size so a combination of high fluorescence and side scatter is very very useful to distinguish the tumor cells from the mesothelial cells also what are the reasons for false negative as we had few false negative and false positive so the reason for false negative could be because you have a very small number of malignant cells or the cells could be lost during the transport or processing or they are aggregated and this is particularly when you have a very large volume of fluid and you are probably not um, sampling enough uh, amount or there is improper mixing of the slide uh, of the sample when you are preparing slides so these are the reasons for the false negative and the reasons for false positive are the mesothelial cells are those cells which are continuously in transition that means they in long standing uh, inflammation in tumor dialysis etc there is a transition of mesothelial cells to epithelial mesenchymal cells so they change their morphology so they become fibroblast like cells and they form pseudopod like projections and so because of this they have an increased ability for invasiveness so they almost mimic the malignant cells so that is why they are picked up in the areas of high fluorescence so that is why because they show high fluorescence and side scatter uh, they are reflected in those areas and a point to notice when you are evaluating the fluids you see mesothelial cells in uh, uh, ranging from the normal mesothelial cells to reactive and those which are in this transition that is why relying only on the high fluorescence sometimes may not help in di in distinguishing between these two cells in fact uh, the uh, mindray bc6800 has another parameter to this which they have the malignant uh, 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 cells which are able to distinguish to a much more uh, ability from these reactive mesothelial cells and the malignant cells and they they come as a separate thing but uh, of course i don't have that analyzer to do that study so what i would want to conclude is even though we are not able to totally distinguish the malignant and the reactive mesothelial cells once your analyzer is showing you a high fluorescent area it should give you an index of suspicion that either you are dealing with reactive cells or malignant cells so this should uh, give you an ability to perform cytospin smears go for additional cell block evaluation and probably you can inform your clinician much more in advance before you get your cytology reports that probably you are dealing with a malignant effusion and uh, clinically suspected uh, malignancies mo usually most of the cytologists sometimes the clinicians uh, only ask for cell block in a later stage but uh, when they ask the fluid for tc and dc probably we might be in a better stage if we are able to utilize these finer points of the automated analyzers and we analyze the graph and then we see these high fluorescent areas we should be alerted to uh, alert the clinician that probably we are dealing with a malignant or rule out reactive mesothelial cells so i would like to say that um, the body fluid uh, automated analysis might complement the cytology and you can improve your uh, detection system but the points to consider are um, the proper and thorough mixing of fluid aliquots before uh, beginning automation and before preparing your cytology analysis is very very important so that you properly disperse the sediment to prevent these false negative or false positive results and uh, these automated analyzers have also uh, as i already said they have now a new parameter called the malignant cells which might help in correlation with this high fluorescent component to give you much more accurate results and so in future uh, probably the automated analyzers can be um, almost an equal adjunct to cell block thank you thank you
Any questions? One minute, one minute. That mic is coming to you. What is preferred anticoagulant we can use for uh, sample collection? Yeah, you can use K2 EDTA tubes, K2 EDTA. but when you have a large volume fluid of around one liter, so obviously you cannot transport in the anticoagulant. So the sooner you receive the sample to your lab from the time it is aspirated and process it, it is better. So what we get usually requisition is cytology for malignant cell. Fluid cytology for malignant cell, okay? So in, con in conclusion, should we write uh, positive for malignant cell or positive for atypical cells? So you have this IAC guidelines. So you have uh, the reporting format from negative to suspicious for malignancy and then definitive for malignancy. So it depends on the morphology of the cells. So when you have less cells, uh, but still they are atypical, but you don't have enough material to conclude it is positive, then you give it as suspicious for malignancy. So in our institute, we have made it a protocol that any amount of fluid more than 10 ml, we try to make a cell block because we have found that cell block uh, will help us to pick up the uh, cancer rate much more and to definitely identify mesothelial cells and we can go for IHC. Thank you. Thank you.